Hi and welcome back to the Ride Share Buddy UK YouTube channel. My name's Kevin and today it's Tuesday, it's two minutes to two and this is actually it's probably going to be my only video for this week because I've got quite a lot on. But I've come out today because I want to find out if there's an Uber surge uh, during um, Ramadan. It's Ramadan, it started uh, Monday, yesterday and it goes on till uh, 9th of April. Now, during Ramadan, uh, Muslims can't eat or drink during the daytime, and they break the fast at sunset. Uh, and that's the time when they all go home, eat, break the fast with the family, uh, they study the Quran and they make their prayers and things like that. I don't really know, I don't know a lot about Muslim uh, or the Islamic faith. But that's basically what Ramadan is. So, on Sunday, I got a message from Vaisu, because I used to be a Vaisu driver, never did any work for them. I was on and off in a day, <laughs> couldn't cope with it. Um, but I got <laughs> an email circular. <laughs> it really was that bad. <laughs> um, it was an email circular from Vaisu telling drivers that they expect um, things to be busy between five o'clock on the evening, which is when they start to go home to do their prayers, through till about nine o'clock at night, when the drivers will come back out and the night drivers will start working again. So they sent out a big email to all the drivers saying, if you don't celebrate uh, Ramadan, if you come out between five o'clock and nine o'clock uh, on an evening between Monday and uh, the 9th of April, you should find things a lot busier than normal because obviously all the Muslim drivers aren't working. Now, I, I presume it's going to be very similar to Uber, but I don't know. I did have a quick look at the app last night. There wasn't any surges between 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock in Newport. Um, well, there was one which lasts about 10 minutes. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen in uh, Newport. So that's what I'm going to find out today. I've come out on Tuesday. Normally don't work Tuesdays. Uh, I didn't work yesterday, uh, so I'm going to find out if Ramadan can lead to surges on Uber. So it's just turned 2 o'clock now, so let's start up the app and we'll see what we can do on a Tuesday and if things are busy after 5 o'clock. Oh yeah, apologies, I had to take a video down this morning. Uh, I put one up last night about something that happened while I was asleep at Mega uh, Services of some guy attacking a uh, pickup truck. Well, I've had to take it down because uh, the police have seized the footage. Uh, it was an active investigation, which I didn't realise, and they've uh, taken my, um, some sort of domestic dispute or something, I don't know. Uh, so they've taken the film, and uh, I can't put it back up because uh, it could be uh, something legal, at some stage, some sort of action. So I had to take it down. So sorry about that. It did. I didn't realise what was going on. I was asleep at the time. It's just that um, for some reason it got locked on the uh, on the uh, dash cam, and I went to see what it got locked for, and uh, that's what I saw. I miss out on all the fun I do when I'm, I'm asleep. But still, some sort. Of, it's had to come down. So sorry about that, but that's the way it is. So the weather. It is, it's raining, it's not too bad temperature wise, it's 13 degrees, but it is raining. Um, whether that's going to help bring it, oops, here we go, first one, 1 1.3 miles away, 5.94, out on trip radar, let's see what we get. It's fairly local, if we get it, be a nice start. No, it's matched another driver. I think, what well, I think, what I'm going to guess is that because the Muslim drivers are going to be off between five and nine, a lot of them are going to be out during the day to fill up the time and try and earn some money before they have to go and uh, go back home for to break the fast. That's what I'm guessing. So I'm guessing I'm going to be jumping on a lot of work, which they wouldn't do otherwise. But uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, so I've just had my first job come in. 
it's a four pound and eight pence i don't normally do them this slow but i think it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get jobs today so uh, it's only 0.4 of a mile up the road i know where it is and it's only going to about a mile point 1.4 miles so four pound and eight is my first job of the day so that was a 408 job which i've done i've just picked up a job in cumbrian which i'm going to over to now uh for 720 730 something like that uh just to keep myself moving really now here's one thing i'm not missing at the moment by doing so much airport work i'm not missing uber ratings because I got a down rating yesterday and had a report come up on the uh, the app uh, saying that uh, difficulties with uh, riders had a difficulty finding you. Good drivers with uh, Uber will always make their way directly to the uh, the passenger and will always ring them to find out where they are if there are any problems. Well, I've never had a problem in the last few, couple of weeks. Um, the only issue I can think of was that uh, pick-up over at uh, the Colesberg Brewery I did, which went back out to Bristol. Um, he was a little bit late, and he was moaning about how the app wasn't showing where the car was. So he didn't know how long it was going to be to be picked up. So he was a little bit late getting to me. I didn't mark him down for being late, but he obviously marked me down because the app wasn't working. If it wasn't him who did it, then it was another rider who was just coming out with blatant lies. So I'm not missing that at all, um, not getting rated. So if I can find another one or two airport transfer businesses, that would be good. Because what I want to do is to try and get down to the stage where only 20% of my income is coming from Uber. That's the goal. I want 80% from airport transfers, 20% from Uber. And I think that would be quite a good mix. And just use Uber, really, just to get out to the airport or come in and back if I can bring, bring me back from somewhere. So just in between the airport jobs. But yeah, I was well miffed when I got that report. Um, it was either a blatant lie or it was that guy who, whose app wasn't working and wasn't showing where I was on the map. But I'm the one who gets uh, reported on. I'm the one who gets down marked. Yeah. Not going to miss that at all. Well, I'm hoping the weather's going to improve a little bit in the next few days. Um, I've got a couple of fishing trips planned at the end of this week and uh, beginning or mid middle of next week. So, as long as it's dry, I don't mind the cold. It's when it's wet and wet and cold that I'm not happy with. So hopefully it's going to dry up. And hopefully it'll make today a busy day as well. Right, so we've just come to three o'clock, or just after three, minute past three. I've been out an hour. And I've got 18.92 on the clock. So three jobs. You have uh, a ride. 4.08. Uh, and a couple of £7 plus jobs and at the moment I'm at the Cumbrian Shopping Centre so we'll uh, head head back towards Newport Right, so uh, it's uh, 10 past 4 so I've been out just over 2 hours and I've got um, 50, 33 5 o'clock that's alright, since the last time when I uh, dropped off at the Asda at Cumbran Shopping Centre. I just went around the corner, picked up at uh, Crane, go to Newport Station. From Newport Station, I went down to Pill to pick up to go to Newport Station. And I had a customer waiting there for me to go out to Motor Point over at Spitty. Dropped them off and then I whizzed up to Hatherley to bring down to Burton's Biscuits in Cumbran. And now I'm on my way to another job in Cumbran. So it's going all right today. Um, we're not yet into the time where uh, Ramadan will have an impact. It's uh, sunset is when that starts to happen. When all the drivers may disappear, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. But um, 13 minutes past four and 
50, 33 on the clock. Okay, so it's five o'clock. I've been out three hours and I've got 69.35 on the clock. I've only had one um, surge job, which was that one from a pill up to the railway station. Um, this is the time when things get really slow. I mean, there's plenty of work around, well, there's work around, uh, but you can't get anywhere because it's rush hour. So you don't make a lot of money during rush hour. Since uh, the last update, which I did at four o'clock, I've only done two jobs. So I did a job uh, dropped off at the, uh, the Burton factory, which was the last job on my last report. And then I uh, went down into Central Cumbran to pick up at Pizza Hut. And that went over to Basileg, which took quite a long time to do because of the traffic. Uh, and after I dropped off at Basileg, I got a trip from uh, the tiny Rebel, a couple of miles away from Basileg, down into railway station. So it's just those two jobs I've done, come round to Basileg and tiny Rebel to the uh, railway station. Uh, but I'm on 69.35 after three hours. So I'm OK. It's happy for Tuesday, very happy for Tuesday. But only one surge job so far. Oh, that's come round too far away. So with it being five o'clock, this is now the time Vezu, according to their uh, circular uh, email text message, this is the time when they should start to lose the drivers. Uh, well, I think they're going to start losing drivers uh, between now and nine o'clock. Now, I've just been round the station, uh, dropped off at the railway station, and there's plenty of cars down there. Uh, nobody looks as though they're going to be moving fairly soon. So, maybe it is beginning to get a little bit dark. Sunset is when they can start to eat again for the Muslims. So, we'll see if uh, the number of taxis on the road do start to drop. And we start to see a surge. Because uh, we should be seeing it from now on. Yeah, um... On, on the way to a job, it's only a five, six pound job, uh, but it's just very, very slow moving. They're right in the heart of a rush hour, quarter past five. The only people who make money at rush hour are the black cabs, because they're on the meter, and so it's, uh, they're getting paid for both time and motion, uh, whereas now we've got front fares. It makes no allowances for traffic, it really doesn't doesn't cover your costs in traffic. Rarely do I make minimum wage during a rush hour. Um, and quite often what I'll do is during a rush hour, I'll just go and park up uh, at McDonald's on the Asda and uh, have a coffee, do a bit of shopping uh, and just stay off the roads really because uh, while there's jobs there, you can't get there. It's just too slow. Well, the first uh, surge has started to appear in Newport, down by um, Spitty and Nash College, and I'm in central Newport, but I'm not going to chase it. Uh, and it's uh, half past five. So I've just done one job in the last, since the last update at uh, five o'clock, which is about six pounds. So I'm on uh, 75 pound 15. And I'm going nowhere fast um, because of the traffic. Nothing happening in central Newport. Just that surge area out down Chepstow Road. Um, Chepstow Road. Yeah, around Chepstow Road, Ray, Summerton Way. And that's, that's all at the moment. Well, I've just taken a £4.53 job, so it's just a chat over my four fifty minimum. It's not a surge at all. Uh, it's just picking up at the station, going fairly local. Um, I'll see how many people are at the station when we get there, see how many drivers are up there, uh, see whether people are starting to go yet. To be honest, yeah, 
I think it's going to be a bit of a flop. I've just got this feeling that, you know, all, you know, there's a good chunk of, it's, yeah, there's a, probably a dozen black cabs out at the station. So they're clearly not moving on to uh, break the fast just yet. Um, although it's not quite dark enough yet, I don't suppose sunset. So uh, we'll see what happens. And yeah, there's plenty, plenty of taxis in the uh, railway station. So uh, yeah, we've still got plenty of people out. Okay, so quick update. It's ten past uh, ten past six. So we've been out for four hours, and I've got eighty nine pound and nine pence on the clock. So we're doing all right. We're still sticking above that uh, twenty pound an hour mark. No surges yet. Uh, I'm on my way to a job three miles away uh, for about eight, nine pounds, I think it was, I don't know. Um, but if the last couple of hours, my, my hourly rate has sort of started to slide because of the traffic. But we're ten past eight, so ten past six now, so the traffic's beginning to clear out a little bit. So hopefully we can push up our hourly rate a bit more. Um, I try and bring it back online. But uh, yeah, we're doing what? £22 an hour at the moment. Can't be bad for a Tuesday. Okay, it's uh, 10 to 7. Uh, I've done a couple of jobs. Uh, one from Spitty up to the railway station and one from Malpas Road up to the Grange Hospital. So that's taken me up to 10 to 7. And I've just gone through the £100 mark. That's 102 27 I'm now on my way back to uh, the railway station to pick up to go to Caldicott um, for £16, just over £16. So far, no sign of any surges. No sign of anything really. It's just been your normal, bog standard, busy peak, peak time period. Purely busy because you're slow moving uh, and everybody's going home. But no surge so that tells me that uber doesn't think it's any busier than a normal normal um, rush hour traffic time it's definitely dark now so definitely within the uh, all heading off to break the fast if they are and uh, no so we'll give it up till eight o'clock I've got this job to do maybe do another couple of jobs uh, but at the moment it's all a bit of an urban myth. Um, you don't get big surges when the Muslim Ramadan is on and uh, the drivers go. Uh, it doesn't happen. It's not that busier. But uh, we'll see what happens in this last hour. OK, so uh, just that quarter past... Well, just gone quarter past nine five and a quarter hours just dropped off at the team Aga hotel that was all night from the railway station i'm on 118 pound 90 11890 um 45 minutes left to go no sign of a surge it's not been particularly well it's been busy but just like a normal day you know i may be, be about five six pound over an average day for Tuesday but I think that's more down to the rain than it is to Ramadan yeah urban myth I, I wouldn't worry too much about racing out to work during Ram Ramadan thinking you're gonna pick up a lot of work uh, because the Muslim drivers have all gone home to break the fast it's not happening Okay, so two areas of Newport has just gone into surge. Uh, one I'm just about to come through, uh, which is around the uh, Celtic Manor sort of area, Jepstow Road, and the other one looks like it's out. Well, that's not a surge, is it? 4:33, and why didn't it send me four miles when there's a surge less than a mile away? We'll, we'll deny that. The other one looks as though it's out towards Rogerstone area. 
when it's come off at um, the Celtic Manor Junction and see uh, if you get anything because that'll pull us right in the heart of the surge area so we should get some work without having to run and with a little surge sign next to it right that's it I am right in the heart of the surge area let's see what Uber sends out to me shall we right the uh, the area I'm in is a sort of a peachy colour not not the very pale one so I'm probably at a level two surge and I'm in the middle of it right by the Celtic Manor so it should happen well I'm not going to park up waiting for a job I'm going to sort of go through the surge Pointless. These surges just don't don't relate to reality. Um, I mean, coming down the motorway there, I was literally less than a mile away from the heart of a surge area, and they wanted me to go four miles for a four pound thirty three job. It ain't gonna happen. It really isn't. Yeah, okay. I've just had an eight pound surge job come through from the Celtic Manor. So I'll just swing around and uh, we'll go up to the Celtic Manor and pick up this uh, eight pound surge. Wow, I've never quite had a surge like that. Eight pound for naught point eight of a mile. Uh, that's probably one of the best fares. I've ever had on a per mileage basis but it's now 22 8 I've got a 10 pound job I'm just going on to and then we'll cut it quits but at the moment I'm 126 pound 90 so this will take me to about 136 pound for a uh, seven hour shift no six hour shift started at two finish at eight six hours 136 pound that's okay. That's uh, a little bit higher than normal, but I think that's more to do with the rain than anything else. Right, that's it, me finished for the day. Um, it's one minute past eight, just dropped off at the uh, Potters. Those last three jobs are all to do with the conference down at the um, Celtic Manor uh, or the National Exhibition Centre. So it looks like there's a big conference on this week down there. Might be worth coming out later. Okay, so Newport's just gone into surge again. But 8 o'clock, I'm finished. I've got... Can you see that? Well... £137.27 for six hours. That's almost... Not far off weekend sort of earnings. So I'm happy with that. Um, I wouldn't say that uh, there's a big difference in jobs-wise um, if it's been Ramadan. Uh, I mean, the drivers will be coming back out in the next hour or so. So uh, there is a little bit extra, but not a great deal. So I'd say it's more a urban myth than an actual fact. But that's it for tonight. I'm calling it early. I have to down a couple of jobs, including a £26.8 to Blackwood, um, because I've got an airport on tomorrow morning. I'm going to be down at Cardiff Bay by 11 o'clock uh, to go to Bristol Airport. And then in the afternoon, I don't know, if, don't know if I'm going to be working or not, because uh, I'm planning on going out uh, tomorrow. Thursday... I have another airport on. Uh, that's in the afternoon from Swansea out to Bristol Airport. And that's it. I haven't got a lot on this week, mainly because it's my birthday on Friday. I'm going to be 62. So, Friday is that day. Hopefully, if the weather changes, we'll be off for, for the weekend. So, I don't work then. But next time, next video will probably be coming out next week. Uh, so, until then, Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And until next time, take care. Happy driving. 
and uh, keep that profit rolling in because things are back to normal. We've got rid of that quite uh, February, well into March and business is back to normal levels.